everybody. Happy Friday. I am so happy to see you and I'm so delighted to be able to craft with you guys tonight. If you guys are not aware of who I am, I am Kim Kellogg and I am the creative force behind Lilac Lane DIY where we hope to get you creative and keep you creative and we're going to start in that vein by showing you some projects that we have just completed and that are classes that are coming up and then we're going to get into crafting an amazing project tonight. So, I don't think Ashley's had time to post it yet because I just <laughs> sent it to her, but I'm gonna show you the pieces to the new fall tiered tray set. Oh, it's gorgeous. So here is a piece, these two pieces you saw yesterday, these were the sneak, maybe this one wasn't, this one for sure. So sweater weather, sorry, I got a little confused. Thank you, Lynn. I am about 80% back to normal. After a migraine, I'm still really ugh for a couple days. So there's one piece, there's sweater weather, and then here's pumpkin spice everything. <laughs> hey guys. And then there's one of the pieces you saw yesterday as well. And in fact, I made this one into a big sign because I had so many requests yesterday for this to be a sign instead of just a piece for our tiered trays. So tonight that's what we're gonna be crafting. And then here is this adorable piece. How stinking cute is that? Love it, love it. And then of course the truck, gotta have the truck. So those are six pieces to this tiered tray set and I absolutely love it. You may see this one bigger as a sign as well, but tonight we're gonna to be making the um, Farm Fresh pumpkins. But I have a couple other things to show you guys. Just a couple. It is not too late to get scheduled for this class. You have until 10 o'clock tonight to sign up for this one. That's tomorrow. Is it tomorrow or is it Sunday? So you have until 10 to register for this class as well as the back to school. I love this one. This one is so cool to me. <laughs> All right. So we are going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to tilt you down. We've only got one project tonight because it's Friday night and I'm going to enjoy some downtime at my house. All right. I believe, I believe, I believe you will be getting, if you've placed an order, you will be getting an email this evening or in the morning to let you know your orders are ready. I think I have almost caught up everybody's orders. And if you have not picked up your, um, your door hanger of the month yet, please go ahead and do that. They're all ready and at the shop waiting to be picked up. All right, so we're gonna stain this background first. And this is just a big version of, um, of the piece that everybody asked me about yesterday. So I just made a big sign version of it. So we're just gonna take our gel stain, get a little bit on my paper towel, and we're just gonna stain this really quick. Then we're gonna put this piece to the side and we're gonna paint all of our parts and then we're just gonna glue it all together. Oh, that was too much. I got it too much that time. I hope everybody's having a great Friday that you've got some fun plans for the weekend. This heat is making it difficult to wanna to do anything though, I think. All right, whoops. So we are gonna put this to the side and we are gonna do our painting. All right, so we have got Farm Fresh, which is gonna be white. So we're gonna start with that. And Lynn, no tape, cause they're super big, so I didn't think I needed tape today. So, skipping the tape. I may regret it, but I'm skipping it. I don't think I, these will get away from me too bad. Have it on backup though, just in case I need it. Thank you to everybody who reached out to us yesterday. I appreciate it so much. It is really, really rare for me to feel bad enough to close the shop. So I know a lot of you knew right away that it was, <laughs> it was a bad day. <laughs> All right. 
I'm trying to be careful so I don't have to go back over the sides with the black, but if you get paint where you don't want it, you just let it dry, like especially on the sides and things, just go back over it with a black with a brush with black paint on it or a black paint marker and it'll look just like it did before. That's what I do on the edges of all of my projects when I'm finished to give them a finished look. You have to wait for that paint to completely dry though or it just makes a mess. It just dawned on me that today was Friday the 13th. I haven't been on Facebook today. I'm sure there's lots of references to it on Facebook, but I have not been on Facebook today. So I have been oblivious to the fact that it is Friday the 13th. So hopefully <laughs> there's no superstitious folks out there who've had a bad day. Okay, we're gonna let those dry, then we'll probably go back over them with another coat. But we are gonna do these letters, and I'm gonna show you how I did them. They were super easy. So I started with my orange, and I just went midway down each letter Maybe let's use these as a guide. When you get to those, go midway, go halfway between those and then stop. That's a good guide for you so that you know exactly where to go. And it doesn't have to be exact because we're gonna blend as well. Oops. So I'm just gonna do that to all the letters and then we're gonna switch to our maroon and blend it in. to blend the colors together like that to make it's kind of an ombre. It's not a traditional ombre, but it is a, um, it's a cool technique. Gives your project a little extra interest. Of course, you could do them just one solid color if you prefer. Okay, so we're gonna take another brush and we are gonna paint our, our wine color for lack of a better word. I think it's, it may even be called French wine. And we're gonna go right up here. I'm not blending yet though. I'm gonna do a couple letters first because I don't wanna muddy up my brush. So I'm just gonna get that paint on there. I'm not real worried about the, oh, my hair is everywhere. I'm not real worried about the blending right this second. Thinking more about the bottom part of the letter than the blending. Because once I start blending, I'm not gonna be able to go back down the letter with the same brush. All right, 
So now I'm just going to kind of blend it a little bit like that. Then I'm going to take my orange brush. I'm just going to go down so that it just kind of goes in together. If you get too much burgundy up at the top, that's okay. You can um, fan it out and start over. I'm trying to work quickly because I want it to um, I want it to stay nice and wet so that it blends well. And that's how it kind of looks after you're done, which is super pretty. Put a little bit more orange. Go that way and then go back up. If you get some little stark parts that look too brushed, just go back over it with some more orange until it looks natural. It's really just a trial and error. That hair is still there. Trial and error until you get the look that you're going for. those so now all we have to do is glue everything together super simple you'll notice that there's no holes drilled here yours will have holes drilled in it I left the drill bit in my bag that I thought I brought home but I did not bring it home it's still in the shop but that's okay yours will have the appropriate holes <laughs> I'm going to dip my letters. You guys know I like to dip my letters in the glue. It's less chance of a mess. And this all has um, lines, so you just have to line them up. Super easy. I miss in a ton of comments. Oh, thank you, Tracy. All right, push that down. So, so pretty. Oh, you know what I didn't paint? I didn't paint the daggone pumpkin. We need to paint that guy. He's center stage on our project. I knew I was forgetting something. I'll just paint this little guy up and let him sit for a minute while we glue on the word pumpkins and then he'll be ready to be glued on as well and then we'll be done <laughs> this is why I like live videos I like the I like the unexpected 
I don't like doing videos that are all structured <laughs> where I can do it five times till I get it right. Okay, there we go. Put this little guy to the side for a second. We'll put some more, oops, put some glue on these letters. I'm not going to dump them. I'm going to just put the glue on those. No letter dunking for the big letters. But don't use too much because you do not want it to come through. It does dry clear, but it takes a long time to dry completely. And it does leave a little bit of a shine. If you smudge a little bit of it, it's not a big deal. But if you've got a big blob, it is, um, it is possible that it'll show a little bit. So I try to be as careful as I can. Having the words already etched out makes it super simple too. You should just be able to plop them right down where they go. This one reminds me of the sunflower one we did during the summer. It's the same idea. Okay. Now we'll put a little bit of glue on the paper and get this pumpkin glued down. And this sign will be done. This one was a super fast and easy one, but it's so stinking pretty. I understand why you guys requested this one because it does make a beautiful sign. All right, that's it. That's the whole sign. Look how beautiful that is. Very pretty. Now don't forget yours will have holes here and twine so that you can hang it as a sign anywhere that you'd like. Hey Joe, hey Kim. Hey, Jennifer, I know you don't want to talk about back to school yet, <laughs> Tiffany, but I know there's a lot of parents who are super glad to be talking about back to school. And I said the other night that I like wish my kids were back in school again so that I could torture them by hanging this on the door the week before they had to go back to school. So every time they came in the house, they'd be <laughs> reminded that they were about to go back to school. So, but I don't have any of those anymore no more so this is our project for tonight this is our farm fresh pumpkins i'm so glad that you guys joined me i know it was a quick one but it's friday night and i am going to try to relax a little because i have got a super busy day tomorrow i'm going to be seeing a lot of you guys coming into the shop to paint and to pick up projects and i think we may have a surprise at the end of the weekend maybe another sale you never know so make sure that you are one on our email list so so the two things that you should probably do right away if you if you want sales and you want special projects that nobody else gets one be on our email list and two be on our text list because that's where those flash sales are going out to to the text list and to the email list so if you're missing the 20 percent 30 percent 50 percent flash sales that's why because it's on your email and your texting so the first time you set up your texting with us, you get a 10% off coupon on your order. So if you haven't done it yet, you might want to do it because that is the way that we communicate the most for our sales. It just makes it easier because you guys know Facebook doesn't show you all the things. And so we had to find a way for you guys to get all the information that you needed without having to rely on Facebook. So that is, um, that's the best way to do it. Hey Lois, I love this one too. So if you haven't, like I said, if you haven't signed up for one of those, make sure you do. We don't send out a ton of text messages. Um, it is, it is. Um, you can text me on that number as well. And I'd actually prefer that to my personal number if it relates to work. I've got a couple people that still continue to use my personal number to text me about Lilac Lane things. So if you could use that number, it'd be great because when I leave work, I'm not working. So. Make sure you reach out in that way to get some sales. And what else? I can't think of anything else. If you're coming to craft with me and you are not coming for a class, just make sure that you shoot us a message or an email and let us know the time that you're gonna be in to craft. Otherwise, I will see you guys later.
Bye.